Good morning. Today we will learn about movements of earth, a social studies lesson for class 5. If you happen to be a new viewer, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for educational video updates. Getting into the lesson, movements of earth. Rotation and revolution are the two movements of earth. Though earth keeps rotating and revolving, we do not feel the movements because everything on earth including air moves along with it. Now let us see what is rotation of earth. The earth rotates that is spins like a top about an imaginary line and this imaginary line is called its axis. This imaginary line that is the axis of earth runs through north and south poles. The axis is not straight but is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degrees. The earth keeps spinning on its tilted axis and such a spinning movement of earth is called rotation. When earth completes one rotation on its axis, we say that we have completed one day. It means earth takes one day that is 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis. Earth rotates from west to east on its axis and because of this sun appears to rise from the east. We have days and nights on earth because of the rotation of earth and now let us see how days and nights are caused. As the earth rotates the half of the earth that receives sunlight will have daytime and the half of the earth that is away from the sun will have night. Now let us see the second type of movement of earth. The movement of earth around the sun in a fixed path is called revolution of earth. This fixed path along which earth revolves around the sun is called its orbit. Earth's orbit is elliptical and it is not circular. Earth revolves around the sun in an anti-clockwise direction that is it rotates from west to east around the sun. So what we have learnt is that the revolution as well as rotation of earth is from west to east. Earth takes 365 days and one fourth a day to complete one revolution around the sun. When earth completes one revolution we say it as one year. Now let us see where does the one fourth of a day go? For our easy calculation, we take 365 days as one year and we keep one fourth a day that is 6 hours aside. Once in every four years, we add up the four one fourths and we get one full extra day. The extra day is added in the month of February as this is the shortest month of the year and thus February has 29 days once in every 4 years and the year that has 366 days is called a leap year. Now let us see how seasons are caused. We experience different seasons on earth and it is the revolution of earth around the sun that causes changes in seasons. 
as the earth revolves around the sun the half of the earth that is tilted towards the sun gets maximum sunlight and the places in this region experience summer season when the northern hemisphere is tilted towards sun the places in northern hemisphere experience summer season on june 21st the north pole tilts the maximum towards the sun the places in this hemisphere have the longest day and shortest night of the year this day is called summer solstice and on december 21st the north pole has maximum tilt away from the sun the places in this hemisphere have the shortest day and the longest night of the year and this day is called the winter solstice now let us learn about equinox equinox is the day when the day and night are almost of equal duration all over the earth march 21st is called vernal equinox when days and nights are equal all over the earth during spring season similarly september 23rd is called autumnal equinox which falls in autumn season now an overview of what we have learned the spinning movement of earth on its axis is called rotation the axis of earth is tilted at an angle earth completes one rotation in 24 hours and rotation of earth causes days and nights the movement of earth around the sun on its fixed path is called revolution earth completes one revolution in 365 days and 1/4th a day changes in seasons are caused due to revolution of earth around the sun june 21st is summer solstice and december 21st is winter solstice so also march 21st is vernal equinox and september 23rd is autumnal equinox hope you find this useful subscribe to my channel and keep watching more educational videos thank you and have a wonderful day